<laughs> I am with none other than Taylor. And we are gonna be making a king cake. King cake. King cake. King cake. A king cake. All the ingredients are here. Usually king cakes, if you know, are extremely unhealthy. But today yes. we're gonna be making, we actually substituted a couple things to make it a little more healthier and it's not easy to make. Yeah. Have you but, made one? No. Me neither. Before? Store bought all the way. <laughs> I, I genuinely like buying store bought because I don't really have to do the work. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna do the work today. We're gonna do it. And hopefully you enjoy this. Let us know down in the comments below, but now we are going to switch to making it. Okay, to make this king cake recipe, we started out with half a cup of milk. Then we added two tablespoons of butter to that. We put it in one bowl and then stuck it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. We mixed it all up and then just put it off to the side because we're going to use it later. So then we grabbed one large mixing bowl and added warm water, then baking blend, as well as five packs of this dry activated yeast, and then let it sit for 10 minutes until it bubbled. Then we added the concoction and whisked it together. Following that, we added one egg, continued to whisk that together, and we are whisking, yep, we're there, and and now we're adding some ground nutmeg. We ground up one fourth teaspoon of raw nutmeg and then added that to the mixture and continued whisking. Then we started adding flour. We added two and three fourths cup of all purpose flour. So that took a hot minute to get mixed together. Started whisking, didn't end up well. As you can see, we added more flour and then just used a wooden spoon to mix it all together until we got it into one blob. After that, we put some flour on the counter, we put the blob on the counter, and then we kneaded it for between five and eight minutes, probably closer to eight minutes, until it's a ball. Then we put it in the pan, covered the pan, and let it sit for two hours. Then we checked that bad boy out. It had grew. Yippee. <laughs> then we sprinkled more flour on the counter. And more flour, yep. You could tell that was my first time doing that. It's totally fine though. Then we put it on the counter. We used a rolling pin to roll it out. And I think we add, we probably rolled it out a little too thin. You'll see later in the video, but it kind of didn't make a complete circle. It just looked like a really big circle that didn't fit on the pan that we used, but that's okay. So if you're making this at home, I would say maybe not roll it out as much. But for right now, we're gonna go to the filling of the king cake. We melted two tablespoons of butter, then we added one fourth cup plus two teaspoons of brown sugar, then two tablespoons of flour, and then two tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. All together, we Oh, more applesauce. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Full effect. Yep. That was hard to do on camera. Then we went on to cinnamon. We added one half tablespoon and mixed it all together. We didn't add a clip of the pecans being crushed, but those are in there. I promise. We added two tablespoons and then we spread this filling all over the dough that we had spread out before. And then we began to roll it up. Like I was saying previously, I think we kind of made it too long because when Caitlin goes to put it on the pan, it is not quite a circle. It's more like a square or a rectangle or whatever other shape that you see in this picture. But after that, we let it sit on the pan for about 45 minutes to let it rise some more. Put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 325 degrees. And then the fun part came. Where we started making the filling. We did three tablespoons of milk and two cups of powdered sugar together. Mix that up and that became our icing. Now you can see us sprinkling those Mardi Gras colors on the king cake and then we were done. Literally so simple, so cute. So, <laughs> after a long day of baking, we didn't realize that it was gonna take 45 minutes to sit on the counter before we would put it in the oven. A pleasant but... surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but after all of the two hours of waiting for it to rise and then the 45 minutes of waiting it to rise some more, 
we put some icing on there and it was so good yeah it was time consuming but it was definitely worth it oh 100 percent, 10 out of 10 oh yeah like absolutely we would definitely make it again um one thing that we just didn't put in there was the salt but it wasn't required yeah, yeah. It was, it was optional. optional. So that was one thing that we could have put in there, but I don't think it was going to make a difference because it was only like a quarter teaspoon. That's not a lot. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I think this was the 10 out of 10. Let me know if y'all want to make this in the future. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thank y'all for mm -hmm. watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you're located in the world. Bye!